One of the very interesting things in the final episode of Mortis um, that I know fans would have found very interesting was that um, George was looking for two ancient Sith Lords that could you know, bring some meaning that would be kind of like an uber evil influence guiding the sun. And this was Darth Bane and Darth Revan, um, both of who existed in the EU. So it was, a, it was going to be a big deal to bring these uh, kind of legendary Sith Lords into Clone Wars and thus, you know, into the world of the George Lucas Star Wars um, story. We designed them. They are in the Clone Wars style. We modeled them in the Clone Wars style. Uh, and we shot the scene uh, in the episode. The scene exists but it never made it into animation. It only existed in layout. I was very apprehensive of this scene, as cool as it was, because of the implication of it, which is that these Sith Lords could separate themselves from the Force and somehow talk to the Sun. That seems like a big deal. You know, about the time after we had shot it and we sent the reel to George, um, George watches it, you know, and he loved it, it was great. Um, but eventually I got a call from George. And he said, you know, I've been really thinking about this, and we should take that scene out with the Sith Lords. And as, you know, as disappointing as it was in a way, I guess, because it would have been cool to have those characters appear in Clone Wars, um, it was absolutely the right thing to do, because they just can't exist in that form. They can't exist in that way. But I think for fans, it would be neat to know that at least that idea was considered, that we went very far with it, and that in the end, after discussions, it was really George that said, no, this, you know, I thought this would be good, but I wanted to do this, but it doesn't jive with my bigger explanation of the Force. And it gives you an insight to the detail to which he gets into these issues with the Force and these uh, concepts of the bigger spiritual aspect of Star Wars. He's very involved in them, and to be honest, the writers and I feel very strongly um, when we're bringing these type of episodes to screen that, I mean, George has to be more involved than normal because we have to get this stuff right. Of everything we do, you know, we have to get this stuff right because this is the force. <laughs> this is the whole ball game. Wow, so something I just found out that I did not know is that both Darth Revan and my homie Darth Bane were going to be placed in uh, the Clone Wars Season 3 uh, at the end of the Mortis God's uh, arc um, that you know Dave and George had really sat down and talked about, really went over, they shot the scenes and everything, and yeah, they were going to put it in, and George decided to basically cut it the last minute i would have loved to have seen it um i understand too like dave said i understand why they took it out um but at the end of the day i wouldn't mind if you know they went into the vault and pulled that out and sh at least shared what it looked like gave us the fans at least to see what that would have been like uh from start to finish uh and what kind of effect it would have had as far as that you know as far as that that arc so yeah guys i enjoyed watching this and hearing dave talk about this this was just really just interesting um maybe they will give us this information maybe they won't probably won't but if they do that will be a great thing what do you all think of this uh did you know about this because like i said i'm just finding this out and i didn't know because darth bane is literally like my second favorite uh uh dark side user of all time besides uh uh anakin aka vader so let's talk about some things in the comment section guys let me know your thoughts and remember the force will be with you always